Welcome back. So we move to the next pillar now, which is the fourth one, calculation. So we'll go back to our report view. So now, calculation is where we create all our, all the mail in, a, in, in Power BI. So now, if I want to do calculation, I like to put all my calculated table. May I like to put them in one table. I like to put them in one table. So the first thing I do before I start any calculation in Power BI is to create a table for them, which I will name Home Mayo. How do I do that? Just go to, go to, go to modeling. No, no. Oh, enter data. Click here. Enter data. Then rename the table and you can give it the name you want to you want to uh, name it so now for me i'm going to name it all mail then you load it so it will create a table and this is where i will be doing all the calculation this is where i'll be doing all the calculation for my for my oh uh, for this particular report so now you can see now we don't have anything here. So whatever I want to create now, whatever calculation that I want to do now, it should be done on this particular table. So the first calculation, the first thing that I want to do now is to is to create sales amount. If, I, if you see now that we don't have sales amount here, we have the unit, you have the unit price. You have the quantity, but we don't have sales amount amount in this particular uh, sales table. So how do I create my sales amount? How do I get my sales amount? So I will just do some simple calculation in Power BI here. So how to just do sales amount, then also total budget and sales versus budget. So the first thing that I'm going to do is my sales amount. So how do I do that? All you need to do is go to where your your uh, your calculation table, then click on it, right click on it, and it will give you this drop down. Then click on new mail. You click on new mail. So now, what is the name of this? Oh, calculation that I want to do. What is the name of this mail that I want to? What What do I want to do? Sales amount. So you write sales amount. So equals to. So now for Power BI, I'm going to be using a sum function for it. So if I use sum function, which will only accept just one column. But now I'm going. I want to sum. I want. I, I want to bring like three column into this two column. I, okay, three column. So now, I, if I use some function, it will it will not accept. It will only accept just one column. So what I'm going to do now is sum x. I'm going to use sum x, which will give me all the column that I want to sum together. Sales, the table. This is the table. The tape. The, the data set table then comma into brackets or oh, that's the quantity the sales quantity just this is say quantity say quantity multiplied by sales price just write the unit sales price then minus discount Minus discount. Yes, minus discount sales. Discount amount. So this is just how to calculate our sales amount here. So that is our max sales quantity multiplied by unit price. We have a discount amount here, table there. So uh, we have a discount amount column in that particular data set so minus the discount amount just click you mark it or you click enter it will automatically give us our sales amount this is our sales amount so this is our sales amount it has created a mail for straight sales amount so the second mail that i want to create now 
is total budget. Total budget. How do I calculate my total budget? Here in the budget table, I have this. Okay, this particular column, I want to rename it as value, not sales. It's actually value. So I will name it. So now, our total budget now. I want to calculate our total budget. How do I do that? So then what you are going to do again is go to your all mayor table, then create new mayor. Then total budget, total budget equals to some Some of the value amount to sum all the value together. That is our total budget. Now it has created our total budget. Now that's our total budget. That's another mail that I calculated in our calculated feed. Now the next thing that I want to calculate now is sales versus budget. Sales versus budget. So now create another mail sales versus budget. Sales versus budget. Sales versus budget equals to that divide divide sales amount comma then total budget. That's our sales versus budget. So we've created our sales versus budget now. We've created our sales versus budget. So that is how to do calculation. This is just a basic way of doing calculation in Power BI. You can do count of, you can do sum, you can multiply. You can do various things in power in the in, in calculation in power bi you can do various calculation in power bi the calculation that you can do in Excel, you can also do it in power bi just make sure that what what do you want to actually the first thing is what do i want to how do i want to how does what do i want to see in my what are the kpi i want to see in my in my in my as uh, in my report what are the things i want to see in my report so these are the things that will lead you to what the actual calculation that you want to do what are the before you do any calculation just write all the kpi that you want to see in your report then this will lead you to what you actually want to, what you want to calculate and before i forget i want to create a calendar table how do i create a calendar table in excel uh, in power bi what you need to do is go to data modeling then click on data modeling Click on new table. Once you click on new table, it will take us to this place. And then what you what is the name of the table you want to create? That's a date table. Date table. I want to create a date table equals to calendar auto. Don't click this, click calendar auto. It will automatically and then close the bracket. It will automatically calendar auto. And it will automatically give us, it will uh, create the calendar table for our data set. It will automatically create the calendar table for our data set. And we can link this together with the two data set. So you click OK. And if you go to data view to check the calendar table, you will see that it has created it. So this is our calendar date, which is date table. You can see now it has created the date table for us. And you can link this calendar table. You can link it together. You can link it together with your, with your other table, with the sales table. And you can see now it has, it has automatically created the relationship between them you can see this now that's created a relationship between these two table so that is how to calculate to do calculation in power bi and these are just the basic step of doing calculation in power bi and also how to calculate how to create
Gate Table in Power BI.